Hey Arnie, we're here to see your gym and fridge. What do you want? All right, Arnold, we're here to see your fridge. You ready? Let's do it. What is it exactly that you want to see in the fridge? You just want to see the food? Or do you want to bust me because I'm not 100% vegan? Or what is it that you have to? Follow me. So anyway, this is the refrigerator in my office. We have here fruits, we have vegetables. We have one of my favorite things that when it gets hot, I have watermelons, cut up watermelons. We have, of course, the Radler, which is a German drink, a combination of uh, lemonade and beer. I love it. <laughs> Most people don't know that, but it's my secret protein drink. Don't tell anyone, okay? This is between us. Okay, so here we go with the protein. You wanted to see how a protein is made? It's nothing special about it. I just put in a little bit of this almond milk. Not much, just a little bit. And also for muscle soreness and sometimes bone soreness. Put a little bit of that in there. Then you go and you put the banana in. I don't do it always with uh, clean hands, where I touch every dumbbell and barbell and machine that other people have already touched. But it's just to get the immune system going and to really always be able to fight back. Now there's an egg, a raw egg that we put in there. Well, actually, I like to put in the whole egg. Now, this drink, literally, you could serve at any bar, health bar or any other bar. I sometimes put in the schnapps. I sometimes put in the tequila. So it just gives it a little extra flavor. What does your diet look like these days? Well, I am, as you can see, I'm health conscious. I was not always health conscious because when I was young, you know, you get away with a lot of things, a little bit from that. And now I eat more, you know, like oatmeal and greens and vegetables and the healthy foods. Stay away more from the meats and more from animal products and animal proteins because there was this misconception is the only way you get big and strong. So now I backed off that and um, I feel much better at being more on greens. Do you cook at all? Yeah, of course. My favorite thing to cook is, of course, steak. Well, a lot of times my bodybuilding friends come over to my kitchen or come over here to this office and they want to, of course, eat the delicious food because they all want to look like me. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. <laughs> I love that. Anyway. What kind of snacks do you eat? I've, you know, during the day, I have to make a little protein drink, of course, because I think this is the best, you know, and we have the ladder proteins. And I mix it with uh, some of the, uh, the milk here and uh, sometimes uh, juices and then sometimes have energy drinks also and so on. It really depends what kind of a mood that I'm in and if I'm tired or not, because our energy drink is really great when you're tired. Do you drink cow's milk? I would say that I hate cow's milk. I drink almond milk. This is much better. What other foods do you hate? Um, I don't really hate much of anything. I just stay away from it because of health reasons. But I mean, I, I always was called the garbage disposal because I was never sick and tired of anything. I mean, anything, as a matter of fact, I would go to restaurants and I would say to people, make me an omelet. And they said, what do you want to have in the omelet? And I said, anything that's in the kitchen sink or anything that you can find on the kitchen floor, just scrape it up and put it in there and I would love it. And that's exactly what they did. Have you ever tried a fad diet like keto or intermittent fasting? When I started a film, I don't have time for fat diets or anything like that. I have to go and go on a real serious kind of a regimen. I work out harder. I do more cardiovascular training and I watch much more what I eat. So I cut out just simply all the sugar products and I cut out all the white bread. Do you take any supplements? Yeah, I take supplements. I take uh, multivitamins and uh, take, uh, you know, uh, everything that the body needs. And, but uh, like I said, they're called supplements. The supplement of what you eat. So the key thing is, is not to rely on the supplements as much as that you rely on good food. Natural food, a lot of greens, a lot of fruits, and a lot of really good proteins. Does Arnold ever have a cheat day? Cheat days come up quite frequently. I just remember that even three days before the Mr. Olympia competition in 1970, after training, we would go to the house of pies. So the key thing is always to remember that for every calorie you take in, you got to burn it off 
There's no one else that's gonna do it for you. You got to do it. How often do you work out? Um, I work out every day. I work out in the morning, go from around 7 to 7.45. And then I um, ride the bicycle every morning for around 45 minutes. And um, then many times I go back at night and I work out at home in my home gym. What do you consider an intense workout? Well, what I'm doing right now is not what I consider an intense workout. This is kind of a light Mickey Mouse workout because we're doing the filming right now. So I just go through the motions. But I'm not really training that heavy anymore because uh, after my heart surgery, I was advised not to train heavy and not to do any more going for three reps and the heaviest weight and all that stuff. So I do more kind of lighter weights and more reps. Do you still chase the pump? The pump is always out there. And you always have to chase after it, yes. What's the best thing you've learned throughout your career? When you become a world champion in bodybuilding and you um, reach your goal, like I did after winning 13 world championship titles, you know, seven times Mr. Olympia, five times Mr. Universe, Mr. International, and all of those kind of competitions. Then it is important to inspire others because I recognize that I did not go where I am today. I did not reach this point in bodybuilding or in anything else without the inspiration of so many people. If it is in bodybuilding, Reg Park or Steve Reeves, you know, and in public service, Ronald Reagan or Mother Teresa, Muhammad Ali, that was one of the most generous and most giving person that inspired me to give something back to the community. There's all these people inspired me, so to me it's important to hang on that wall and to have other people look up to and say, so look what this guy has accomplished. He came over here from Austria with absolutely nothing. And uh, he became the world champion in bodybuilding and he became the highest paid movie actor and the leading man. And then he got into politics. And whatever his dream was, he accomplished because of hard work and because of a lot of help. And so I'm, I want to be an inspiration to so many others. All right, now it's time for our rapid fire questions. 7 a.m. workout or 7 p.m. workout? 7 a.m. usually. Squat or deadlift? When you say squat or deadlift, it's the same thing as saying drinking or eating. I mean, I think we need both, right? So therefore, it's a crazy question. You should try to work out the whole body a minimum of three times a week. CrossFit, yay or nay? I think it's good, done the right way. Dumbbells or kettlebells? It makes no difference because the muscle doesn't see what you're holding in your hands. Run on a treadmill or in the great outdoors? Both. Biggest compliment, jack, rip, swole, or cut? Cut. If you could work out with anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? I would like to work out with Eugene Sandow. Because he's one of my idols. He was the first bodybuilder that also was a strong man. I think that uh, he's a remarkable human being and a remarkable athlete and strong man. You know, a lot of celebrities on Jim and Fridge say you're their ultimate workout partner. What do you say to that? I'm here in Gold's Gym every morning. If you want to work out, come on down and we have a good time. All right. Listen guys, I gotta get back to my workout, okay? Time for fooling around is over.